If you want to make some picks on your favorite sports, check out Underdog Fantasy's Pick'em Game where you choose higher or lower on between two to eight players and can win up to 325 times your entry. And using code ZERK when you sign up, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash and a free pick. The whole thing wobbing. Today, guys, is Sunday, which means we have the next episode of Pack and Play. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Reed for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, today is Sunday when you're watching this video, which means we have NFL today, and Underdog is running a crazy promo. For every only NFL entry that you guys make today, you're going to get 10% of your entry back as bonus funds on Wednesday. So let's say you come in here and make a $100 entry on Underdog on Wednesday, you're going to get $10 as bonus funds. And if you guys check out Underdog Fantasy right now using code ZERK, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus funds. This Lamar Jackson, 0.5 yards free pick. And this Patrick Mahomes, 0.5 yards free pick with code ZERK. Also, there should be, I believe, either discounts or more payout boosters this morning. Follow me over on Twitter. I'm sure I have a ton of picks up and ready to go. We have dominated NFL Sundays so far. Now, guys, this episode is going to be really interesting because there are a couple of things we need to do before we hop into the gameplay. But, per usual, I need you guys to go to down below and comment two challenges to do in the next pack and play episode i will admit the two challenges for today could be really really good for us and i feel like we do badly need a big boost to the team right now i don't like to do challenges that allow us to upgrade the team maybe necessarily too quick because that's kind of the point of pack and play right you're gonna see me rage you're gonna see me struggle and that's kind of the fun in the the episodes right if i had a good team and i was beating the crap out of everybody it wouldn't be fun with pack and play right it's kind of fun to go in there with a lower overall team and try to beat these higher guys the two challenges for today though number one for every 20 plus offensive yard play that we get we get a special pack i feel like that's obviously going to result in us having to try to go deep but could work out pretty well we could get a lot of special packs and number two this is a really good challenge you guys liked a lot in the comment section every offensive yard that we get is another 1000 coins to use so if we get 200 offensive yards in this gameplay guys we're gonna get 200,000 coins to use on packs so most certainly those correlate very well and this could be really big now something else i do need to bring you guys attention though is I got a make right, right? Just like you guys in my rookie premieres. Well, I did one rookie premiere in Madden 24 and got 85 overall Jaden Daniels over here. Well, I also got another rookie premiere. By the way, I still don't have Puka Nakua. So that card, unfortunately, so I don't know if he'll ever make the team. But uh, we have some very, very interesting choices to make here. Now, we already have Jaden Daniels, okay? And yes, I am going to allow this for the team because... I mean, hey, it's a make right, right? I feel like I should be able to use this, especially since I never got my Puka Nakua. But who do I go with on the team? I really feel like the best options are either going to be Roma Dunze or Terry and Arnold. Now, Dallas Turner, great pass rusher. Terry and Arnold and Roma Dunze, especially for the pack and play team, getting a depth position piece, I feel like is so, so big. Currently, we don't really have much a wide receiver, okay? Roma Dunze would be a massive, massive, massive upgrade for the offense. Uh, Terry and Arnold on the defense as well. We don't really have like any corners right now, all right? Our secondary is very, very bare. But I'm gonna stick by this, something that I've told you guys before. When it comes to using someone like Terry and Arnold, obviously he's already getting outdated in terms of speed. We're getting a lot faster wide receivers. We're gonna face a lot faster wide receivers. I feel like you can utilize a slower receiver versus faster DBs and get Roma Dunze open versus trying to have Terry and Arnold out there and we have every wide receiver on the field on pace and it's going to be 90 speed. I don't want to see that. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to pick up Roma Dunze, throw him right in, and we just got a monster wide receiver upgrade. All right, guys, so let's get into this. As you can see, that is my top three. We now have Roma Dunze and Marvin Harrison at receiver. He uh, has a very good team. Oh, Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas on the kick return. No way. Earl Thomas kick return TD. That's an upgrade for Earl Thomas. I know that doesn't necessarily help us, by the way, in terms of trying to get done with the challenges today to, you know, really help out the offense. But man, getting a kick return TD, I'll take that every day of the week. Especially because, by the way, that right there is going to be an upgrade for Earl Thomas, who I believe we have is, is it 85 overall? As we get a sack. Let's go. Mike Dana right there with the sack. We badly, badly needed that. Third down and 17. Once again, I'm sending a blitz at him again. Let's see if we can get some pressure on him here. 
And instead, he's gonna check it down. That's not gonna be first down. And let's see now if we can make a play out here. Fourth and 11, we badly, badly need a turnover on downs. Turnover on downs would be a pack. So we would already be at two packs here, set up in prime position. This could be absolutely massive here. So he did just motion over Drake London. Gotta look out for the running back and great throw great throw obviously it's gonna be a little tough right my secondary as you guys saw is very bad all right they're they're very very bad we've got to be able to get some pressure as we almost just get a sack and to be honest i'm basically blitzing every single play because i don't really trust my d line to beat a much better offensive line and especially with a guy like harrison smith right we have harrison smith over there by the way i think it's his 81 overall oh come on make a play on that ball there i need you to make a play on that ball my opponent is now down to the 31 yard line here as everything's pretty wow all right i was about to say everything's bagged i don't know what happened there i was playing match coverage and my corner just dropped him so pretty awesome there he's gonna run to the outside good really i was gonna say good hit he bounced off that tackle all right guys so let's get into this and see what we can do now my opponent has got a very very good specifically d line in general he's got a very good team but specifically d line here is we do have that open underneath marvin harrison that's uh, about 11,000 coins right there. Now, we do need to go ahead and pick up these 20-plus yard, you know, plays, so that way we can get more and more special packs. That's really what I'm looking for here. Bijan's open in the flats. We'll take that. That's not going to be 20 yards. It's only 10. All right, at the 38-yard line already, we are definitely driving here as Roma Dunze. Roma Dunze. Oh, Roma Dunze is literally a touchdown if I get the ball off. Go back and look at that play. Roma Dunze had, like, three yards of separation. Obviously, just wide, wide open open right there as here he's not gonna run the same play oh my goodness my players are running into each other and it still worked 24 yard completion that special pack the players were literally running into each other and it still worked just absolutely ridiculous gonna look to potentially nope that's not gonna be open we'll take the Bijan little check down break a tackle pick up a couple yards all right second and eight now at the 13 yard line oh I was gonna highball it I was gonna highball it instead LaVishka not a 20 yard completion but we'll take the yards and the TD all right four seconds left in the first quarter I don't know how many offensive yards we have right now by the way as I tried to switch stick I literally tried to switch stick and it didn't work well i tried to switch stick there but i guess i just did it a little bit too late second down coming up though i oh okay i just saw something just noticed something all right let's see if he tries to do that again if he runs that same defense i definitely noticed something there as that's not gonna be open gonna try to reroute oh oh Ah, uh, that's gonna be a pick, isn't it? Make a play dang it listen man when you have a 77 overall team you try to make plays all right you, you got to get the playmakers. You got to get the playmakers on the team. Didn't make the play is what it is. Was a good reroute. Just obviously trying to throw the ball that far down the field. Safety was able to, you know, range over and get to the ball, unfortunately. Now, I'm very concerned because, again, my safeties and secondary are all just complete poop, right? They're absolutely terrible. So this is going to be really, really hard to stop him from bombing me deep whenever he basically wants to. Going to have to just try and switch to kind of like everything here as that could be a pick. Earl Thomas, you got to get that. Earl Thomas, you got to get that, man. Two minutes left here in the second quarter. Not good. Now he's going to probably uh, be able to go to like a corner or something here. Going to look out for that underneath the drag. Oh, my make a play. Listen, man. 77 overall team two plays in a row we should have had interceptions he's throwing the ball right to you guys all right can we please get an interception that's all i'm asking for one interception is all i'm asking for all right as he has double drags out here those are not gonna get him into the end zone or get him a first down but scrambling will by the way just so you guys know i had a qb contained there but unfortunately didn't have a QB spy set up, so, ooh, nice hit. But I didn't have a QB uh, spy set up there, so the contain doesn't help when he just scrambles right up the middle there. Second down and 14 coming up, though. Defense, I'm, I'm begging you to make a play, man. Somebody out here has got to catch the ball. He's literally throwing it to us as he's going to run the ball here. Good tackle. All right, I am sending massive heat at this guy on third and 13. I have to. Somebody has got to come in here and make a play, and again... 
Goes to the corner route. I knew that would possibly get open. We get the fumble. Yes. I don't know who it was, but thank you. And it looks like, was that Earl Thomas? I think it was Earl. Yeah, Earl Thomas, 29. Earl Thomas with a forced fumble. He's definitely getting an upgrade. Earl Thomas with a forced fumble and with a kick return touchdown. Absolutely 1 billion. I just threw a pick. Oh, whoa. I'm going to mark down right now that that was a 20 plus yard completion. I'm not 100% sure, but off the top of my head, I, I think that was a 20 plus yard completion. And of course, I will double check that, but just letting you guys know, I did mark down that as a 20 plus yard completion just so I uh, have it in my notes next to me here as going to try to keep this route going. Got to throw it away. That still was just absolutely incredible, man. Oh, Roma Dunze. Oh, Roma Dunze is a tutty. Please just give me a second in the pocket right here. Easy first down. Thank you, LaVishka Chenault. I just needed a second in the pocket right there. Easy first down. We only have 14 seconds left, though, as we're going to have Bijan. I'm going to reroute him up the field, or I guess not. I don't really have many options here, but I obviously need to go into uh, halftime here with a lead. So we're just going to... Oh, we have it inside get the ball sims yes all right now that one i know was over 20 yards so i'll double check on that other one but i believe currently we're at three 20 plus yard catches in general three 20 plus yard plays as harrison smith he's playing down in the box right now and he has a couple tackles he actually may be close to earning himself an upgrade sean t you're right there sean t you were right there there all right guys so at least offensively we're doing good but defensively yeah not so much as we do it brock right open good catch i actually thought we had like way more offensive yards Jaden daniels only has 117 passing yards i thought he had like way way more than that as that is an absolute dot and that is definitely 20 plus yards actually i'm gonna need to double check that because i think that one might have been like 16 or so as Bijan's open here in the flats we'll take that we get around him Bijan with a broken tackle too i don't think i've tried to run the ball at all but second and two let's see if we can just pick up two yards here and get the first down thank you i mean it's a struggle even doing that but it is what it is down to the 21 yard line here we have Brock Wright. We'll take that. Get around him. Bijan as a lead blocker. Bijan, that is another touchdown, and that is a 22-yard catch. I keep saying catch, but you guys know I mean play, right? Obviously, I mean play as my opponent's going to start with the ball here, and we just got to somehow get a stop. We've actually done really well at stopping his run, which is surprising because I have a terrible defensive line, and as you guys see, his team is much better than mine, so he should be able to run, make a play, dude. Listen, I'm trying to switch up the coverages. I'm running cover four, cover three, blitz in, a little bit of man coverage here and there, but when you have a terrible, terrible, terrible team, make a play get the ball every single one of my dbs is like under an 80 overall except for earl thomas so yeah it's kind of hard to make plays on the ball or uh even play zone coverage in general here or man second and 10 coming up once again i am sending a blitz at him i'm all over kincaid gets that open if i was down here I, I would probably try to run here nope he does not try to run gonna look out for that underneath he gets it good tackle harrison by the way harrison smith he might actually get an upgrade off this game to like his 85 overall aka or something he has quite a few tackles yeah i'm just i don't have the speed straight up i don't have the speed oh no way no way again earl thomas oh come on earl thomas almost just made another crazy kick return i mean it still was we got down all the way to the 31 yard line so that's still really really big as oh i just saw lavishka by the way i would have cut that to the inside but that's 83 overall okay 83 overall right there uh earl thomas i don't have the speed to outrace whoever he might have had over there as we do have x open over the middle here roma dunze not a 20 yard play i really do need a better tight end i feel like a better tight end would really really help my offense because I don't even look at Brock Wright half the time. I know he's not going to be open. LaVishka, though, he is going to be open. That's a first down. And guys, right now, this is a really, really tough position because we just need to win these games, right? Currently, all right, it's tied. Two minutes left. He has three timeouts. I'm going to try to get his timeouts here, but I want to win this game. We're going to run it a little bit. As much as we would like the yards and also, you know, to get another touchdown, uh, we just need to win the game, man. We badly, badly need to win the game. I almost just threw a pick. That could have been catastrophic right there. Third and eight. He's not going to be ready for Brock Wright. Nope. He actually was totally ready for Brock Wright. Nothing is open. Am I about to force this? Ah, that's that's awful. I absolutely hate that we are doing this. But yeah, I, I'm taking my three points here. Please don't miss the kick. Thank you very much. 
How am I gonna get a stop? All right, so this is obviously very concerning. I don't know how I'm gonna get a stop, to be honest, you guys. I, I really don't. I haven't been able to stop this guy in pretty much all game, aside from getting one fumble as, yeah, he's just way faster than me. Aside from that fumble, I mean, we just can't stop this guy. We can't play zone coverage versus him. I mean, I'm literally like shading underneath and have a flat right out there on that touchdown that he scored, Harrison make a play how many times have you heard me say make a play today i bet it's probably like 15 times that i've said it to be honest good tackle and i am very very concerned here third down and six okay not a run gonna look out for marvin harrison underneath we get another sack from mike dana that's a pack by the way and we actually just held my opponent to a field goal i feel really good about this please miss it okay made the field goal made the field goal okay earl thomas on this kick return this guy has been kicking a very, very specific way, like the entire game. Watch this. He's going to kick it to where Earl Thomas is going to come up for the ball, but sometimes he's been short, which is why we started the 40. Other times he makes it, but then we get like a running start. This time, uh, yeah, he's short. We're going to start at the 40. I mean, that's pretty much the worst thing that could have happened to my opponent because if he's running man coverage here, he's not. Okay, we're going to quick fire this in right there to Lavishka. Don't take a hit stick, please. You've got to come up with a drive here. Second down and one. Will he switch to man? Yup. And we got Roma Dunze. Roma Dunze, let's go. This is why Roma Dunze was such a clutch addition. And I'm about to kick the game winning field goal. Is he going to rage quit? Nope. Okay, he's still here. Come on. We got this for the game. Can we make the kick right down the line for the win? Let's go. Oh, absolutely insane, guys. Jaden Daniels, 17 of 26, 231 yards. Uh, rushing, we had six yards and five. So 11 yards there, 231. So we're at 242 yards. So we get a lot of coins. Overall, though, what a game right there. Uh, Receiving-wise, Roma Dunes a massive massive catch basically sealed the game right there marvin harrison three of 50 uh how do we do defensively harrison smith five tackles uh he didn't have a tackle for loss but five tackles two sacks for mike dana right there earl thomas five tackles a force fumble a kick return touchdown he absolutely is getting his upgrade by the way guys i can literally go back through this the highlights and actually see all of the 20 plus yard plays that we had so I can see right here, we had, that one was close for, for him anyways. Uh, we had, where's it at? 12 yards. Marvin Harrison. Okay, so that's one. We had in the second quarter, I think, one, 19 yards. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 19 yards right there. That's absolutely insane. Uh, I believe we did have a second one. Did we not have a second one in the second quarter? I think that we did have a second one in the second quarter, or at least I thought we did. Uh, as for the third quarter... Where is Jaden Daniels? There's one. So that's two 19 yards. Wow. So we had two there, three. Okay. I think we had another one here. I guess we only had three for 20 plus yards. Okay. Now, with that being said, guys, we have seven total packs to get into. Also, because we won, we do get to go ahead and do this the one coin daily pack. So we're going to get an 81 plus overall, AKA. This could be pretty decent. And it's literally Harrison Smith. 81 overall Harrison Smith we currently have an 82 overall but the 81 is faster okay um not sure how to go about that I guess because the training value we should still quick sell the 82 we also do get to go ahead and do a strategy item pack because we did win then we have everything to get into we have a lot of rewards today guys all right so we have seven get a gold player packs to get into then we have everything else to get into as well the special pack we get for getting over five packs and then everything else so this is gonna be pretty big all right this is definitely going to be pretty big here but let's go ahead and do these get a golds where are the other get a golds at I like can never find them after I do that first one. All right, so I'm not even kidding. I've, I've actually never seen this before, but the get -a golds are gone. Like I opened up that one pack right there and they're completely gone. I checked under every single section and they're not here in the game. I have never seen get -a gold player packs just be completely gone. So I guess we have six more packs to get into. And with that being said, I guess we're just going to do two of the 70 plus overall packs. Like, I literally just don't have the option. I, I don't have the option of doing a normal get a gold. So I guess we're just going to have to do two of these uh, as we get a couple of gold cards right there. Basically just training. We'll just do two of these, I guess. 
I mean, it is what it is. You know, they're, they're literally just not in the game. And we get a 78 overall punter. Okay. Now, as you guys know, I get to go ahead and choose any pack that I want for my special packs. We have a total of four to get into, three from the challenge, and one from getting over five packs earned. I want to do at least one of these. At least one of these breakout fantasy packs. See if we can get lucky and pull ourselves something crazy. Let's get a 74 overall. Round number two. We get a 80 overall Will McDonald. Not really too sure how much that's going to help the team. And 80 overall Josh Reynolds. I honestly don't know how much either of these guys are going to help the team, but we're going to go... Did that just auto-reveal? All right, no offense. We need a tight end. That actually helps a lot. We're going to go with that no offense right there. On to the second special pack. By the way, we have like over 200k to spend on these packs as well. Any pack that I choose. Getting into this, we get that 74 overall. Round number two... 82 Garrett Williams. I think we could use that, honestly. We're going to take it anyways, but he'll probably make the team. Round number three, we get 80 overall, Sione Taki Taki. And again, we get a Will McDonald. All right, so that was our second one. I think we just got an upgrade for sure with Garrett Williams. Listen, our secondary is terrible. Okay, we will gladly take an 82 overall cornerback. Now, I feel like the smart thing to do, though, would be either Legends or AKA, because we could definitely get a player that we could then upgrade throughout just kind of playing here. By the way, I don't know if we... Actually, yeah, we probably did do enough to get an offensive lineman upgrade, simply because we had over 200 offensive yards, had a couple TDs, and our team is pretty low overall, as you get Travis Frederick and Cromartie. We'll take Crow. We will definitely take Crow right there. We can do one final pack, as we also did get 80 overall Larry Little right there one final legend pack and then we have a lot of coins to spend on packs as well as we start with a 80 overall randy moss okay we get 80 overall ken houston and jj watt we'll take the ken all right guys so now we have 242,000 coins to spend on whatever packs i decide so 242k what would be the best way to go about using these? Again, I feel like we should probably go with some legend packs here, okay? So let's do let's do two of these. So that would be 86k times 2. That's 180, no, 172,000 coins. It's a little bit late at night. 172,000 coins. We get a full legend 86 willy rope. Let's go, baby. That is huge. Full legend pull right there. Absolutely massive for the team. Let's do one more. This is going to be 172,000 coins spent on two legend packs. Absolutely massive. 84 Marshall Falk right there in round number one. Yeah, thank you very much. And an 84 Reggie Wayne. Listen, we will take it. All right, we definitely could use the wide receiver help and the running back help. Marshall Falk, listen, Bijan, pack and play MVP. That card's not good right now. Guys, we have got 70,000 coins left to spend. And just so I don't have to do some crazy, crazy stuff here, we're going to go ahead and do this AKA pack. It's going to make it the easiest thing to do here is just do the AKA pack here. I know we're 2,000 coins over. Whatever. We're going to get an AKA player and uh, 81 Harrison Smith. Who would have guessed? All right, guys. So now we're going to go ahead and get an upgrade that is definitely deserving. We have 83 overall Earl Thomas. He had a kick return touchdown and a forced fumble and like five tackles. Definitely deserving to get his full legend upgrade big time. All right. So we just made a lot of changes to the team. But before we get any farther and start quicks on a bunch of cards, uh, we also do need to choose an offensive lineman to upgrade here because of us still having, you know, like 250 total offensive yards and overall a great game, right? By the way, Willie Rope, I'm going to play him out of position. He's going to play right tackle simply because we actually, I think this time around, I know we could upgrade Larry Little who we just pulled, but we could also go with Larry Allen or Ronnie Stanley. And I feel like that's absolutely the move is to go ahead and pick up 85 overall Ronnie Stanley, play him at left tackle, and we have Willie Rope at right tackle. So our offensive line in terms of tackles anyways, just got way better. All right, guys, so now quick selling every card that we either just replaced or that we're not going to be using, we get 2,000 training points. All right, so we have 2,000 training points now, and uh, obviously this could be big for getting us some upgrades. We actually made a ton of upgrades in this episode already, but obviously we want to try to see if uh, we can do even a little bit more here as we do get a 72 overall right there. I feel like mystery packs, 
We could do the breakouts, but they're just so bad, man. They're so bad. I'd rather take my risk with, you know, mystery packs and try to get another champion pull or something big as we don't get anything right there. We get another Roma Dunze. Shout out to that rookie premier Roma Dunze. I mean, finishing the game for us, right? Absolutely clutching the game for us as we get a 75 overall Amani Arawari. All right, down to 1,200 training points remaining. We just need a, a big pack here, man. Game time pack. All right, this, this could be decent, right? I mean, we're guaranteed to get an elite, which is awesome. Not a champion. And 80 overall, Michael Carter. What is your speed, Michael Carter? 83. Well, to be honest right now, he could go in, but we have Crow, and I think I'd rather have Cromarty, so we're just going to quick sell him. Again, especially because of the situation we're in where we can upgrade players based on if they actually do good. I am so glad we got that Earl Thomas upgrade. I mean, absolutely deserving. He absolutely dominated in that gameplay right there. Kick return, touchdown, had the forced fumble, couple of tackles as well. Definitely just a big W there. Pro rushing pack. This could be solid. We need some elites, though. 78 overall Chuck Clark. We need a legend. Clay Matthews, all right. Uh, 79 Brandon Graham, okay, 76, we get Grover Stewart, we could probably use that, to be honest, we, we actually might use that, who's my current defensive tackle, I'm trying to remember, he actually made, I think our DT, did not play, oh, Vita Vea, that's right, and I don't use two DTs, listen, Vita Vea, he's played too good, man, Vita Vea has definitely played too good to go anywhere, I'll tell you that right now, 778 training points remaining, though, can we get like a pro ace fantasy that would have been so clutch imagine we just got that right there to that pack reveal all okay clavon chase on is not bad he is pretty fast too 83 speed but he just has no pass rush and again in terms of upgrades yeah he uh doesn't have any upgrades because that was his last card right there so really really hoping that we can get something big here man we get another rushing pack this time not a pro rushing that's not good we get a 77 i really don't need any of those guys all right this might be the final pack 2000 training points i know we could have done the breakouts but they've been so so bad i really just didn't want to risk it at all maybe next time around we'll do those but hey still a w episode all right guys so with that being said uh definitely an amazing episode right roma dunes a dominated we got reggie wayne we got marshall falk we got noah fan we got willie rove Larry Little, uh, Ronnie Stanley now. We have Earl Thomas maxed out. We have Sione Takitaki, Harrison Smith's 81 overall, uh, Cromarty, and Garrett Williams. So many upgrades in this video. Absolutely crazy. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Make sure to check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code Zerk. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. Hopefully, we have another dominant Sunday with the picks. We killed it so far. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.